Well, finally today, since the inception of this program, I have been asked more than once, why do you have a pink flamingo? And my answers have always fallen somewhere between why not and you never know when you're going to need one. Well, friends, today is the day. I love your flamingo in the background. <laughs> I got my friend. Today's most Buffalo story of the day called for reinforcements. Buffalo is in preparation mode to take back a record it once held for longest line of garden flamingos. So what we need to do is we need to beat South Carolina's um, record, which is just over 3,300 flamingos, which is double the amount that we did last time. So it's quite a feat that we're going to try to pull off. And that's why we're taking a full year to prepare for it and try to get people to adopt as many flamingos ahead of time as possible. Stephanie isn't revealing how big they're hoping to make the flamboyance this time around, but the Guinness World Record shot will be coming at a very significant time. 2022 marks Frederick Law Olmsted's 200th birthday year. The, the birthday is going to be celebrated nationally, so we know there's going to be a lot of t attention put on Buffalo since we were his first park system that he designed. And so we know people are going to be coming to town. We want, you know, all the parks to look beautiful. Um, we, we just want to bring that attention to Buffalo that it deserves. Knowing that Olmsted saw landscape as art, I asked Stephanie what he might think about the idea of adding thousands of plastic flamingos to the natural canvas. I think he'd be appalled. I think he'd be appalled for about five minutes. <laughs> um, and then hopefully he would see that this is for fun. It's not permanent in the landscape. Um, and it's just, it's just, it is, it's just fun. Um, but he did have great vision, didn't he? He could see things well into the future. And aren't we lucky in Buffalo that he did this for us um, and convinced our city leaders to do a park system because now we have all this fabulous green space that's connected. And there are links to adopt a flamingo or two or five and help Buffalo reclaim the record on the Buffalo Olmstead Parks Conservancy website and on our website, WGRZ.com, as well. And that is Most Buffalo for today. Thanks for flamingling with us. I'm Kate Well Chauffeur. Be well, stay well. We'll see you next time.